The Duchess of Cambridge is known for her sartorial flair, and ability to pull off a glamorous yet appropriate look no matter, the occasion. As royal watchers pour over Kate's every purchase, her husband Prince William's wardrobe tends to fade into the background, but of late his carefully chosen outfits have complemented those of his elegant wife. It seems as much thought goes into William's clothes, as the Duchess ahead of a high-profile appearance, as a stream of recent photographs, including multiple public engagements, during their European tour last week, reveal he has been taking care to color coordinate with his wife. The color-themed outfits popped up, at an unusually frequent rate, during the royal couple's tour of Poland, and Germany last week. Kate's choice of an off-the-shoulder scarlet maxi dress was offset, by a red tie for William, while a form-fitting lilac frock was complemented, by the Duke's deep purple cravat in Hamburg, and the vibrant blue shade of the Duchess coat, during a visit to Berlin's Brandenburg Gate was echoed, in her husband's patterned tie. On occasion the couple have gone even further than coordinating shades, straying into his and hers territory. A notable example occurred, during their royal visit to Canada in September last year, when both stepped out for the day in blue pullovers, with checked collars visible at the neck, smart trousers, and boots. Though the couple's habit can be traced as far back as, the purple shades both adopted to welcome Xi Jinping, to London back in 2015. During last week's royal tour the pair were, never anything less than perfectly in sync. The couple opted for matching shades of pale red, for a glittering garden party in Poland last week, with stylist Naomi Astid commenting, this is a simple detail but effective a slightly lighter red, on Will so the focus is on Kate. Fashion watchers used to seeing the Duchess in dark, muted colors breathed a sigh of relief, when the Duchess opted for the vibrant gown, inspired by the folkloric history of the Shetland Islands. The couple wore a perfect pairing of royal blue last week, as they waved goodbye to Warsaw, and said hello to Berlin. Tellingly, Kate teamed her dress with a matching blue clutch, and nude heels ensuring there were no distractions, from their color scheme of choice. The detail in his tie matches perfectly with the two tones of blue she is wearing, coordinated perfectly, says Naomi. The couple's matching color theme is not entirely new, two years ago they were spotted wearing coordinating shades of purple, during China's state visit to the UK, with every detail, down to Kate's heels, and bag, perfectly matching her husband's tie. Indeed, even William's private secretary seemed to be, in on the color scheme. Again this works so well on the eye especially for pictures, comments Naomi and again Wills is wearing a slightly more subdued tone. She says this ensures that while their outfits are in sync, the focus remains firmly on the Duchess. A vibrant £1,500 pink mulberry coat worn, by the Duchess in 2015, a noticeably bright hue for Kate, was a lesson, in maternity style and a marked departure, from her usual muted colors. And evidently keen to follow her lead. William also opted for a bright fuchsia tie just weeks, before Princess Charlotte's due date in April 2017, on their final engagement before the new arrival. The perfectly coordinated pair were in South London to meet Doreen Lawrence, at the centre named after her son, Stephen, who was murdered in a racist attack in 1993. On occasion the couple have proved they will take things a step further than a tie, and frock combination, like last year's Canada visit when they wore matching check shirts, and navy jumpers, a perfectly paired country casual look. Their outfit, to which Kate added her favorite Penelope Chilvers boots, was the perfect choice for an action-packed day, which saw them trekking through the Great Bear Rainforest. For Naomi, however, on this occasion the coordinating outfits were a step too far, this is a little too similar, she comments. Maybe the blouse with a blazer or a cardigan would have worked better. The couple opted for coordinating purple patterns while chatting to local school children, during a rugby training session, at Paris Trocadero, the first leg of their so-called Brexit charm offensive, in Europe back in March. Kate's belted dress was feminine, and flattering while keeping her warm, from the March chill during her day in the French capital. And Naomi says the couple have got it spot on here, saying, great color match. If he worn a similar printed tie it would have been too much of a distraction. With temperatures soaring in the city of Agra, 
William wisely chose not to wear a tie, and instead opted for a more casual blue and white combination, a perfect match for Kate's patterned dress. Her Naeem Khan dress was the perfect choice, for the much anticipated moment the couple recreated Diana's famous picture, in front of the Taj Mahal. This is simply stunning, says stylist Naomi of their carefully chosen hues. It works perfectly. The couple also wore matching Ray-Ban shades. The Duchess Crimson dress was a perfect match for William's red tie, at Wimbledon two years ago. Her vibrant frock, nipped in at the waist, showed off her slimline silhouette, while her leopard print clutch added a jaunty touch to the outfit. A simple detail but effective, there's a slightly lighter red, on Will so the focus is on Kate, Naomi notes. While there is no official dress code for Wimbledon, and ties are no longer required for men, spectators are encouraged to dress smartly, especially, in the royal box. The couple looked noticeably loved up watching England take, on Fiji at Twickenham two years ago, and their colorful outfits were paired to perfection, with Naomi noting, the printed tie complements Kate's block-colored dress. That week marked Kate's official return to duties, after her maternity leave after having Charlotte. The mother of two sported a blue coat, from Looks High Street label Rice with a Beulah London scarf, on hand to keep her warm, 